Today I'm going to be showing you how to keep your Mac running well. First of all, I'd like to show you the specifications of my Mac. I have a 2.4 GHz Intel Core Duo processor, which is not top of the line, so I really don't have the greatest hardware, but my Mac still runs pretty well. I have tons of applications open right now just to prove a point to show that I can make a video, although I do not have the best hardware. One good tip is the activity monitor. It'll show you exactly what is taking up a lot of CPU usage. It'll also display this little thing uh, over here, which uh, you can use to keep an eye on your actual CPU usage. So, as you can see, QuickTime Player is taking up about 100% CPU usage, which is a lot. And it'll show you some different things that are taking up a certain amount of uh, CPU usage. So you can use that to keep your eye on uh, things that are taking too much than it should. Another great thing you can do is uh, use a disk utility. Uh, you can go under your, your utilities folder and you can find the disk utility, uh, which is this. Uh, you select your hard drive and say uh, repair disk permissions. I already started mine. And essentially what it'll do is uh, go through your computer and repair things that are broken, uh, which will help performance a lot. Another great thing you can do is keep your desktop as clean as possible. If you have folders, it takes uh, it takes extra time for the desktop to render that, and it'll use unnecessary CPU usage to do so. So keep it as clean as possible, uh, then everything works out a lot better, because it doesn't use that extra processing power to render the icons on the desktop. And a nice way to do it is if you go to Finder, uh, you can basically organize all of that stuff underneath here. Another great thing to do is keep your hard drive as clean as possible, which can be hard, but uh, the things that take up the most memory are media files, which are essentially movies, uh, music, and pictures. So basically weed through those and get rid of the ones that you don't need. Another thing to do is uh, routinely run software updates. Uh, you can do that either under software update or the app store, depending on your operating system. Uh, you can go under updates and no updates available but if there are then update all of it and essentially what that does is sometimes there will be bugs that are fixed and essentially you'll just keep your operating system up to date another thing you can do is keep your dock as clean as possible like the desktop it takes a lot of processing power to render all the icons and keep it on the side another great thing you can do is clear out all your history, all your cookies, your caches, and essentially keep all that clean because that's unnecessary memory that that your internet browser or other things might hold on to that you don't need. And another thing you can do is uh, disable your dock. Uh, you can find a video or go online to find a code that you will type into terminal and essentially it will disable your dock and the dock takes up a lot of processing power because it's always running in the background. Disabling it returns a lot of that power. If you do like the dock and you want to keep it, then you can simply use less widgets, but what I suggest is get the Alfred app. Uh, I have a video on it. Uh, it's free, so uh, go check that out. But it's uh, a suitable replacement because you have definitions, use the calculator, etc etc so yeah those are a few things that you can do to keep your computer running well